Hello there, number enthusiasts! I am Teacher Loyette E. Tarampe of Benigno Viaudana National High School, your trouble buddy. Join me as we continue our journey in exploring the wonderful and educational world of grade 10 mathematics full of fun and excitement. Before we start, let me remind you to stay focused and avoid distractions. Venture with me with your module number two and your pen and paper. So at the end of the lesson, you are expected to illustrate percentile as a measure of position and calculate percentile of and group data. For me to know your understanding on our previous lesson, Will you try to guess the measure of position which I am referring to? Are you ready? Yeah! Of course, yes. Let us start. So let's begin. Number one, we have what is the measure of position that divides the distribution into four equal parts? Yes, you're correct. The answer is quartile. Also, Aside from dividing the distribution into four equal parts, quartile has also three score points. How about the measure of position with nine score points? Can you guess? Oh yes, your answer is correct. That is decile. A decile also divides the distribution into, correct again, 10 equal parts. So I guess you are ready now to know the next measure of position. So the last measure of position that we are going to tell this day is percentile. If quartile divides the distribution into four equal parts, and decile divides distribution into 10 equal parts. How about no percentile? Any guess? You're correct. Percentile now is a measure of position that divides the distribution into 100 equal parts. With how many score points? Yes, that is correct with 99 score points. Why is it important that we know the different measures of position? Let us have this scenario for us to know how important the measures of position are. For example, you will be taking up entrance examination in your college days. Now, a particular university offers scholarship for those who will take the examination and the upper 50th percentile will be considered a scholar. If out of 100 items, your score is 80, how sure are you that you are one of those who will be granting or granted the scholarship? So, it is quite important to know the different measures of position so that we know whatever our chances will be. So, let us solve now quartile of ungrouped data. Let us have this problem. The owner of a coffee shop recorded the number of customers who came his cafe each hour in a day. The results were... 24, 10, 12, 9, 17, 5, 8, 14, 10, and 11. Find the 30th percentile of the distribution. So if you are familiar in solving for the quartile and decile, it will be easy also for you to solve for the percentile. What is the first step again in solving for the measure of position? Yes, that is correct. The first step is we are going to arrange the given data in order from 
the smallest value to the largest value. So let us arrange the given distribute uh, the given data in order. It will be starting with five, followed by eight, then we have nine, nine, ten, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, then we have fourteen and seventeen. After arranging, what will be the next step? That is we have to determine the n or the total number of observation. How many observations do we have? Yes, that is 11. So the next will be substituting the formula in finding for the percentile. So solving for the position of percentile 30, that is equal to K times the quantity N plus 1 all over 100. Remember, percentile divides the distribution into 100 equal parts. So, let us continue. That is equal to, what is our K again? Percentile 30. So, therefore, our K is equal to 30. Our N is 11. So, that is 30 times the quantity 11 plus 1 all over 100. So, that is 30 times 12 all over 100. So, simplify it further. That is equal to 360 all over 100 or that is 3.6. After solving for the position of percentile 30, let us round off to the nearest integer. So, percentile 30 is the fourth element in our given data. So, what is our fourth element again from our given data set? You are correct. So, therefore, our percentile 30 is equal to 9. How about trying to solve this problem, class? We have find the 60th percentile of the given data. So, let us refer to the given table, component, and the quantity. Hard list, we have 290. Monitors, we have 370. Keyboards, we have 260. Mouse, we have 180. And speakers, we have 430. You are asked to find for the 60th percentile of the given data set. Come, you solve with me. What is the first step again? Yes, you're correct. We are going to arrange the data in increasing order. So let us start with 180 followed by 260 followed by 290. Then we have 370 and 430. Next. Very good. You are going to determine the number of observation. And we have N is equal to 5. Then after which... What will be the next? Yes, you are going to solve now using the formula. So, will you try to solve that in your own paper and you bring out your paper and pen? Solve the given problem. So, let us solve together. Position of percentile 60. That is equal to the K times the quantity N plus 1 and over 100. So, we have... 60 times the quantity, 5 plus 1, all over 100. Then we have 60 times 6, all over 100. So that is 360, all over 100. And we have 3.6. What will be the next step again? We are going to round that to the nearest integer. What will be the nearest integer? It's 4. So therefore... The percentile 60 is equal to the fourth element, which is, what is your answer again? Come again. You are correct. The answer is 370. Good job, grade 10 learners. I guess this time, grade 10 learners, you are ready for an activity. I prepared an activity for you entitled, your my world the scores of miss world candidates 
from seven charges were recorded as follows. 8.45, 9.20, You are asked to find number one, the 60th percentile of the judges' score, and number two, the 30th percentile of the judges score. So, you can do it, grade 10 learners. To sum up grade 10 learners, how do we solve for the percentile of a group data again? First step is, you have to arrange the given data from the smallest to the largest or increasing order. Followed by, identifying n or the total number of observation and the third one is you have correct you have to apply the formula in solving for the percentile and the last one you have to round off to the nearest integer and identify now the given measure of position once again, congratulations, great and learners, for a job well done. I guess you are ready now to answer your module in this fourth quarter. Once again, Teacher Loyette here, your travel buddy in exploring mathematics grade 10.